the last few days? That is a great question. You know? uh, and then, you know, and, and as we, you and I talk about, Liberia is the only country in Africa that was neither colonized or occupied. Literally, the one country out of all the different countries were either colonized right. or that's why uh, it's important I, that they erase Liberia from history and discredit it, you know? That's why know. they erase it because that's where the And then also is. Liberia is the first country in Africa to gain independence in 1847, uh, not not Ghana and not um, Tunisia, yeah, right. which was in 1957, 1957. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of things that, you know, you and I have to just yeah, so, talk and explain to people because, you know, everything that we're saying, you can easily go look it up and research it and things like that. It's not, nothing we're going to tell you is off course. But what I do want to do, brother, uh, if you have a minute, I was actually trying to get The Rock in, and somehow we have Alquan Hard Cold joining. I don't know who Oh, Lord. You know oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, go ahead. Try, let, let, the, let, let these clowns in. Let, let them I mean, in. I, don't, I don't know night. the person. Is. I'm let just trying to reach in, out know? to The Rock because The Rock has a lot of things to say. Yeah, yeah, and as yeah. a matter of fact, I don't know who The Rock is, but, uh, you know, uh, he makes some interesting, uh, interesting posts. And I'm always wondering, like, Oh, I want to hear him talk. I'm like, yeah, you let him always on my videos. Yo, you obsessed with me and Kala? But anyway, uh, Al Kwan. Bro, no, not, not, uh, not oh, Al Kuhn. Hey. Not Al Kuhn. Hey, what's going on? You do, yeah. know, you do know the brother. Not Al Kuhn. You know, oh, yeah, Kayla, he's familiar with me. I'm one of the Al most Kuhn. few minute scholars in the truth. And uh, the man just, he, he loves my commentary. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Kala, just not give me this up, but this, this, uh, this one to hear from him so we're clear. Uh, greetings, brother. Go ahead, introduce his book, and then go ahead and uh, this up. Uh, Tell us what you want to share with us based on the topic. All right. Thank you for allowing me on and first time caller, long time listener. Uh, I just have two general questions uh, uh, concerning the movie, The Woman King, since it's the big controversy. The Woman King, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I find it pretty intriguing and perplexing that people who call themselves pan Africanists, uh, and, and I was waiting for the arguments. Uh, or shall I say the excuses, uh, w once this, this movie came out, uh, which is why is it that before the acknowledgement of Africans selling each other or other Africans to the white man, uh, doomed to hell in the new world, uh, how come when the white man is the one who was uh, supposed to have done it on his own, he's evil? He's the sworn enemy of the black man. But when the movie verifies that the Africans did it, how come the Africans are still brothers and sisters? And how come they're not damned to hell like the white man? You want me to answer that? Either one of you. And, okay. and the, host yeah. muted. Okay. the host is muted, by the way. Yes, um, uh, Kala, go ahead. Um, okay, here's the thing. I'll, I'll come. Here's the thing, Alquan. Uh, you, we've been through this Alquan, Alquan. You know, check this out, Alquan. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> check this out. The, the, the thing is, man. He, yo, here's the thing, bro. You know, I've been telling you for years. You're hard headed. You're hard headed. Hard cold. Hard headed. You know, check this out. The whole thing is this: look at Africa and Benin, and look at Europe, right? Who got the better of the deal out of all uh, centuries of contact? It doesn't matter. It's, it, what matters is who saw uh, wait. Who, was dealing, who was dealing. That's what, yeah, that's it, what does it does matter. matter. It does matter. Could, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here's the thing. Right? Africa was forced into this, right? Forced into the slave, uh, participate in the slave trade. What? That's just historical fact. You no, know, I, I Europeans thought, basically. The story went yes. to Africa. You Africa said, hey, uh, yeah, we got. Okay. No, no. Let me tell you. Let me give you a little history lesson, right? All right. Alcon, Alcun. Let me give you a history lesson, right? Okay. Uh, in 1591, the Songhai Empire collapsed, right? And I wish I had a picture of the trans trans trade routes, uh, Bomani, to put up there to show you, uh, to give an illustration, right? You know, matter of fact, I think I should look, uh, look for that and I, give it to you I, I, so actually, we have a frame of reference. Can, okay, what we're talking about. Can you please no, focus no, no, on the slave trade? No, no, this is no, this is no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna, let's talk about the trade uh, before the transatlantic slave trade, right? Well, Africa, no, we wanna, King we wanna, Loyal, right? Explain. Traded north, right? Oh, hold, 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 hold on, listen to what I'm saying, bro. The trade in Africa, right, went from city to city. Africa had big cities, you know, trading with each other up north to the north. And then cross the Sahara Desert to the 
to North Africa, then to Europe, right? Gold, ivory, and even some slaves, right? <coughs> it was it was very well controlled, right? Right, controlled. When the Songhai Empire collapsed, those trading routes and everything went into collapse. So what happened was right around the time the Songhai Empire collapsed, Europeans like the Portuguese were on the coast of West Africa, uh, trading gold and small things. And what happened was the Europe the trade on the coast began to replace the tr trade to Timbuktu and the trade going to Jenny and the trade going north, right? That's what grew the transatlantic slave trade, right? What happened was the Europeans at first came looking for gold, ivory, and everything. Then what happened was they lost interest in gold, right? They said the, the thing that made oh, them the most money was gold? human gold, called black gold. Uh, <laughs> Man, I, I love to yeah, meet the people Europeans, who lost gold. You know, the, the slave... Uh, uh, Say so, say, say, let me tell you something. A human body was worth seven thousand to mark up. In other words, a human body could fetch you more money than gold. That's what uh, uh, instead of going there for gold and everything, uh, a boatload of slaves, uh, of captives, fetched, made more money than gold. So they would call black not, bodies that's black that's gold. Not, so gold, Europe, lives, gold lives. Well, that's history, right? So, 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 so I know, but slaves produce more. Slaves had skills. They came over and they produced the wealth for the Europeans. Okay, well, I actually, actually, I want the other one. I'll put get uh, look up uh, Google Trans Sahara slave routes. You know, in the middle 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 Ages. You know, Trans Sahara slave uh, uh, slave uh, tra trade not slave route trade routes. Sla Trans Sahara uh, trade routes. Okay, there should be a picture pop up right. Uh, you'll see it right there. You know, Trans Sahara the uh, West African trade routes. West African trade routes. In the Middle Ages, you know, and you'll see it. When, once, once the Europeans start uh, saying that they can make more money, right? The slave trade grew. The Europeans start building ships. They start uh, exporting guns. There was more guns in West Africa exported as in any other part of the world. So the warfare, the uh, social fabric that kept Africa together, like through councils and everything, was usurped by warlords, bandits, and everybody. They're the ones who took power in Africa, and whatnot. And it to facilitate now, pause, the slave trade. Pause, pause, pause That's right why I was speak. under good. When you basically so, bring gun, but you just said that uh, they exported more, 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 more what? guns to uh, Africa than anywhere else in the world. Yeah. So yes. that means the Africa, the Africa was the biggest market to, for guns. So they should have the weapons uh, to uh, defend. Well, well like I said earlier, hold on. I, like I said earlier, I said earlier, I think so, I said earlier, Europeans were not trying to take over the land at the time. All they wanted was uh, uh, Africans to fight each other for slaves. And so also, Africans yeah, but didn't the Africans manufacture gunpowder. Uh, so whoever they, had yeah. gunpowder, right, won the wars. But, already, but the Africans already had a robust uh, slave institution. What did they need to make them fight each other for? Well, uh, well, but hold on. But hold on. Africa, hold on. A Af hold on. Africans, basically, the slave trade was different in Africa, right? Because slave, when you have a slavery in Africa, right, you would go to the house and you would get it was a slave for life. In the West, it was slavery based on race. That means because you're black, you're, you're condemned to slavery because uh, because the, for the rest of your life, you get based on your skin. That's the difference. Okay, that's why it's unforgivable. You know, slavery. Well, Europeans created race based slavery. You understand oh, what I that means? What I see what you're saying now. So because the white man said you're black, you're a slave. Uh, that's that, that's evil. But if a uh, African says you're uh, black. And you're a slave. Oh, that's a joyful time. Well, 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 hold on. You're a slave. But hold on. Africa, hold on. Hold on. So African slave could get his freedom. He could become uh, uh, married. He could own property. He can gain his freedom if he pays his debt. It wasn't oh, the same okay. system, it, value system as it was with Europeans. All right, hold on. No, what you I'm saying. Called, uh, uh, also, uh, brother, one of the things is, um, that uh, we have to analyze is that whatever we were doing in Africa before uh, Europeans came, and actually physically bought our people and, and took them across the Atlantic. Whatever we were doing, we were doing, you know, we're, we're doing amongst ourselves and we weren't, we, we weren't doing all these extra stuff. I mean, you, you, when you see the documentation of chattel slavery on the plantation here, what were white people doing to us? You know, it, it's, it's well, one see, of those things. Like, no, okay, I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you. Like, you okay, so your people, your, people's, your people, you, 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 know, we, you, you and I, you know, we're, we're neighbors and we get into a fight and you, you lose the war and, you know, and you're my prisoner, and I auction you off to another kingdom. You know that's that's more for a normal thing, but taking 
Africans from their continent and bring them across <laughs> see, they the they didn't world take, though. and abusing them to another level. But they well, didn't how, did we, how did how did some of our people get here? Or how did... bi- it, well, the story goes there were business transactions, legitimate business transactions, and the Indians he believes that we're we're, we're right. Native Americans. All right, so uh, uh, even uh, if it's, the thing of it is, even if the white people say that these are legitimate business, you know. You're you're violating people's rights, literally taking them to a whole different level. But well, they're slaves; they don't have any rights, right? <laughs> you know, whether you're a slave or not, you know, what I mean, it's a thing called basic human rights. Everybody have rights. You know, you can't just, you know, and that's what I'm well, saying. I mean, prisoners in, in, in prison. You're European. What, you, what these, the Europeans did is unforgivable. Because these people have created a system of this evil and wickedness. Whatever we're doing in Africa, you know, now it, I agree it, with, wasn't, I agree it obviously didn't. It obviously didn't. You know, it obviously didn't wasn't nothing compared to you know to the aftermath once white people got into it got into that situation and literally start buying our people or trading with our people with, with guns and weapons and encouraging our own people to you know that hey I'm gonna give you more of this right here the, the good stuff whatever that is whether it's their poison liquor or their guns or whatever and encourage our own people to you know you know so you say encourage but going. The well, if, if, that they already if, had the business before the white man showed up. Well, that's that, that's fine, but that business was nothing dealing with our people being auctioned off in that direction. But once what, they what, got what, in, what difference does it make with direction it was? Brother, it, 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 it does it does matter. If I'm a, if I'm a slave in Africa and I'm I, I lost the war and I'm, and then I'm being sold to another kingdom in Africa, that's one story. But being taken by European slave traders who have who literally take the direction of just violating your rights to a whole oh, new day. Well, people, see the Africa is human. Well, people are making it seem like okay well well black people in africa did this so it's okay for white people to do this no it's not okay for no, white you people guys it was it's okay not okay for, for white people to do it, though. all right I, I live here in georgia and uh right about now uh about 60 um 100 years or whatever it was i was you know i would be scared as hell to leave and go anywhere in this county and state um, and so even up to that point in the 1900s, you still are d- dealing with a, a traumatic situation. You know, like I'm saying, they literally have turned the tide of a situation that was, I'm not saying it was all nice and everything in Africa, but there was there were rules to the stuff. There were rules to it. <laughs> but, but see, here's once, the thing. Once the white want... devils came in, there was no rules. It was but, a straight well, brutal. Let me say this. Let me, what, what, let me what, take what, a group of people to Jamaica, what is known as Jamaica today, and let me just work their ass to death. And let me just go back to Africa and st- steal more people or buy more people and work them to death. It's a difference. Well, let me ask you this. Once and you replace buy them. Car, and replace and, them. And, and, you know, uh, people you can't work today. People they died. Yeah, Kyla, uh, let, 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 let's let, check uh, it out. Once you, you, you buy a car. Oh, I'm I'll sorry. I, I, I didn't really mean to. I was just trying <laughs> to uh, address your points. But once you buy a car from off the lot, uh, can you, uh, as the salesperson of the car, can you now tell the person who bought the car what to do with the car, or do they do what they want to do with the car? Brother, brother, I'm not gonna have you compare my people to a fucking car, man. Let's no, but realistic. it's still sales you know, it's not, you, you, Sales between a material and sales between a human life is still different. No, it's like, no, it's like you it's guys, a slave, just have, though. It's a slave, though. Whether you're a slave or prisoner, you still have some level. No, of they rights. were enslaved. There were no slaves. They were enslaved. And but, slave, you, but you said the people Africans that were, were selling, selling, you said the Africans captured the slaves and then they sold them to the white man. So they they were slaves that were being sold to the white man, not enslaved. Well, it's like this: it was that they were forced to sell people to white people because Europeans basically made sure by by threats or uh, uh, well, uh, dealing with both sides against the middle and stuff like this. Europeans manipulate Africa. The only person that got it hooked was Queen of Zinga. Queen of Zinga, oh, you know what Queen of Zinga did? Man- she told, she made, hold on, let me say this, bro. Queen of Zinga, Queen of Zinga made the people that were, that were scared, Queen of Zinga made the people that were selling to the scared of Europeans more afraid of her. And that's what basically ended that in the Congo region, you know? She said, look, you, uh, you fear the Europeans or you fear me, you know? And they actually fear her more then and then they feared the Europeans, and that's why the few they would defeat the Portuguese, you know. Okay. And that's that's history right there. But in West okay, Africa, got- they didn't have that. The larger states were not were not really uh, that much directly involved in uh, the coastal. The coastal uh, Af- coastal states grew in power. They never had power until the Europeans showed up, right? And the inland uh, kingdoms were not were collapsing, you know. 
And so the coastal it had guns, it had all the stuff going on on the coast and everything. And that's what caused a lot of wars. Kingdoms and empires collapsed because of the slave trade, because nobody wanted the slave trade, you know, to happen. They couldn't stop it because the bottom line is this. When, when you uproot a village and you got all these people on the road walking and everything, they were just picked up by slave traders and everything. Slave traders would go there with guns and uproot whole villages. And when that, you got 10,000 people walking uh, destitute on that. And that's when it became easy prey for... <coughs> <laughs> for European traders and their allies to put people in in uh, in, uh, in, in camps and everything to ship off to the United States, you know, United States in the you. West, you know. Get you. But let me say, that's what let me happened. Say this, let me say this one point, last point, uh, because you mentioned earlier that uh, slavery was bad in the uh, Trans uh, Saharan, but you realize in the Islamic world, a man can go from a slave to the Sultan, right? You realize that, right? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you listen for a second, I said like in the Islamic world, when somebody became a slave, he became Muslim, he can't slave anymore. That wasn't like that with the Europeans on the coast. They took slaves, it was the people, right? And once you boarded that slave ship, we're not you're a slave for the rest of your life. You know, that was that was it, because you're black. You know, and also they the reason why they used black people was because unlike other other people, uh they uh tried to capture uh, Native Americans and use them, they were blending with the the local tribe, and you couldn't tell who was a slave. Oh, the Africans oh, oh, oh. were distinct because of their repeat skin that. color and their hair and everything, so easy to count. How to repeat yeah. what you just said? I said, said the Native reason why American. slaves would make the per Africans make the per a guide, brother. Let, 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 let's let's hear from and you. Native say. Americans, right? Were a distinct race of people, a distinct race of people, right? And so, therefore, bringing Africans over ensured that they would have an identifiable people that could not escape and everything. Some tried and everything hit among the Native Americans. <laughs> In South America, Central America, and everything, but most times they were recaptured because of the way because they were identified by their skin color. You know, it was slavery based on race, which is unforgivable. So they they didn't have the capabilities to brand a slave and put their name on it, and, and that way you can prevent them from. Uh, it didn't matter. Your skin color was a brand. Just, your, 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 your your skin color. They say they. In other words, basically, right? It didn't start that way with the Portuguese, right? But later on, when it, the English and the Dutch got into it, your skin color was a badge of slavery because there was some Portuguese, there was some black people who actually were also with the Portuguese who were slave traders themselves, right? But right. they weren't slaves; they were free. They were called Creole people, Creoles. You know, that's suddenly they were, they were people who were mixed black ancestry, Portuguese, whatever, uh, Moorish, whatever, like that, right? They lived among the thing like that. They participate too, right? But it wasn't until the English people, the English and the Dutch and the French got involved. Where slavery was clearly based on color and race. Okay, that's what yeah, happened. You, you realize the Portuguese, they had some dealings uh, in, on the East Coast too. You realize that, right? Yeah, Portuguese the had dealings. The, 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 the Portuguese has some and everything, but the Arabs were mainly the main traders on the coast. The people like Tip and Tib. But you know, people you know, like those, that yeah, were, those, were, those, uh, were those black. Those are black people too, by the way. I got to make that clear. <laughs> those, are, those, are, those are black Arabized. No, no, he was with Arabs or Arabs. And you can't say all of them are those, those black Arabs. I mean, who, does any of us know those things a fact? I, actually, I do because uh, there's a whole picture uh, and portrait of every Zanzibari leader, except for the first two. All of them. Are yeah, most of, the sultans, most of the sultans there were 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 were, were Muslims. Were, were Muslim black pe people who basically they weren't doing it based on thing. They were just involved in the slavery because it was about money. You know, and and yeah, what I'm trying to say Arab. is that's why that, I, uh, I had to mention uh, that they were black. No, when I say Arab, when I, when I say Arab, I mean Arab, Arabic speaking, Muslim, Arabic speaking. You know, and okay, these people, well, like speaking, I said, some of them were former Arab, slaves themselves. Well, no, they were former, but they were they were they were not white Arabs. When not they were black Arabs and basically participated is, in. Uh, what do, you, what do you mean they weren't white Arabs or black Arabs? That, that's why I pointed out that they're, they're white. Black, they're, so they're, hold, they're white Arabs. They're white. Hold, they're white Arabs. The, the principal people who did the most damage were the white Arabs, slave traders. You know, and well, then that, uh, later well, on, well, black well, Arab, black Arabs got into got into. Well, when people mention the East African slave trade, is that's black Arabs? No, 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 no. That's only that's, that's that's that happened. That was in the eight. The same is just black Arabs. You know, that was in, it. Came later. That came later. No, no, that came. Period. You know that that came that came later. That came that later. Came, you know the first oh, that, slaves that uh, the the the, Arab, the 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 Arabs, the Sultans, the Persians, and all those people, the Arabs, 
they were the ones who basically would start this, the, the Indian Ocean slave trade on the coast or not, you know? And then some of their descendants, their children, their mixed race children and everything took up the, uh, the, the business after years later, 100 years later. But Arab well, slave trade lasted 1,400 race? years. But what do you mean by mixed no, race? No, what I'm saying is this, though. What, 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 what I'm saying is this. That, hold up, hold up. The Arabs exported a lot of African women to the Arab world as concubines. You know, that went over for 1,400 years, long before the Europeans got involved. You know, it's a lot of their descendants. Like, you go to a place like Somalia. Why do you think they look mixed? Because they were <coughs> people who were mixed with the Arabs and the Africans, you know? And these people became <laughs> Arabized in their thinking. But see, here's what I'm trying to make clear to you. These Some of these Arabs were black. Yeah, some no, of them were. No mixing. Some of them were black, and what's the point? Right. Because, because, yeah, some he's, of them he's trying to insinuate, he's trying to insinuate that Arab because what you white. have, you, you well, 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 I don't know the exact numbers because See, uh, now, they, Arab, they, now, when you deal with black they, Arabs, that's dealing with pan Africanism now. Well, when you talk about Arabs, uh, you have you know, you have uh, like the ones who run, example, the ones who run Saudi Arabia, you're going to call them black. Uh, you can you can call some of them black, especially uh, Prince, Ban Prince Bandar. You can definitely call that guy black. The ones the ones who run the country, the ones that you see, like uh, you know, the ones you see popular all the time, you know, in, in Dubai, the Riyadh, the ones Dubai. that Riyadh, Riyadh, yeah, Dubai. You know, you know, yeah. It all depends. You know, they're so mixed up. So I mean, you got to all no, no. the majority of Arabs that you see that run all of these countries are light or white skinned Arabs, and that that's who has controlled this movement of what you're talking about. Did some of the dark skinned black people consider themselves Arabs? <laughs> But and then also Saudi some people, Arabia. and also some people are gonna call themselves like if I'm in Africa, if, if I'm in an, in a certain country in Africa, and you know, and then I see other people look just like me, call themselves, you know, you either have a choice, either you could be an African or Arab. Some people are gonna chose, you know, chose being a, an Arab, but uh, you know, well, and I, you, I may, you, you, be, you may be on, Arabia, you may be on the low level as one of those the ones that they sent out there to do all the dirty work and things. The like boot that. looking, the boot looking ones. Yeah, no, I, I, I find, I find it curious but, that you say that the majority, but but it's not the majority of dark skin. Well, let's uh let me let our, our good brother Anthony. In. Let me let our brother, let me let our brother Anthony in because I can't. There's a bar from Oman, not Saudi Arabia, though. Just just to let you know. Repeat that one more time. I said Zanzibar uh, was ruled from Oman, not Saudi Arabia. No, I didn't say that they're ruled by Saudi Arabia. I was just explaining to you when we talk about Arabs today, like Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest countries who consider themselves an Arabian right. countries with people who run a country who call themselves Arab. As a matter of fact, they had they was trying to push a pan-Arab operation uh, from North Africa to what you consider Northeast Africa or the Arab Peninsula, whatever they want to call it today, and things like that. And well, I just want to mention Oman because they, they were black and the Sultan Caboose who recently died. That was a uh, black man. Okay, so you're saying uh, mostly dark-skinned black people, Arabs that were involved in a safe trade in East Africa, uh, Zanzibar Island, um, and right. what? That's a lie. Is, Tanzania? is that that's what you're a saying? Lie. Just trying to get exactly clear. Exactly what I'm saying. Okay, we don't. No, that's a lie, bro. Going to, that's well, I'm going. I'm going to Tanzania again for the third time, and I'm going to the same area, and I'll talk to my guides and everything. And I'll and make sure. And Oman has something to do with Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. And I'm going to be Tango. going. To the, <laughs> and I'm going to go to the same museums that I go to all the time. And when I'm telling you, when I'm, I'm look, I, I consider myself a dark skinned black man. And when I'm telling you, when I look in the museum, all of the depiction of all of the people who control certain things, they, some of them have some of our features, but the majority of people that run these operations are not our dark skinned black folks. Now we don't get into the sophisticatedness of slavery. You know what I mean? It, it took other people to get involved, to take it to that level. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, if nobody bothered us, you know, we'd have basically what you call slaves. Of, you know, <laughs> well, you can, you can, I mean, I don't know if our ancestors call it that situation, but it's like, you know, it's the reality of it is that's what it goes down. You look at what was, what was England or what was France, Germany and all those countries. You no, know, what, what were they doing in their own country? What were they doing to their own people and things Surf like them. that? Yeah, but here's them. the difference, Bomani. That's what I want to talk about. It sounds like, I'll, okay. I'll let you take it over, brother. All right, hold, hold on for a second and then I'll uh, hear, but uh, we're not going to be doing too much of this back and forth, but go ahead, brother. So speaking. I was going to ask another question, but you brought up Saudi Arabia, so it's only right. See, the difference is we could all say that, okay, the Europeans participated, Africans participated, Arabs mm -hmm. participated. But how is it that the Arabs, if you look at Saudi Arabia, Dubai, and all these areas, and in Europe, you look at Africa, how is it that Africa didn't even benefit from the slave trade? See, it's one thing if you benefited from it and built something. It's still yeah, that's horrible. what my point was. We didn't it's benefit horrible, from it. But you didn't even benefit from it. And it does sound like you guys are trying to take the blame. You know, it's, like I said, it's not like we can look at a, 
a, a like master for country and be like, yo, they built a first world country off of slavery and we can condemn it, but at least they built that. They didn't even build nothing with it. Well, I'm not going to say they didn't build anything and nothing happened. I mean, you know, the, the kingdoms on, on, on West Africa, I mean, they were prominent kingdoms. I mean, even though they were involved in the wicked slave trade. You know? So at that point and in, in, in that time, I don't know what big buildings and things were developed, but I, mean, I can't say that, oh, they just, nothing happened, nothing was built and developed. But, but, but note that when you have a brain drain, when, you, when the best of your people leave from a continent for several hundred years, I mean, you're going to have to deal with the situation. And Who's that's the best why of the people, the slaves? No, it's not the best of the people. Yes. When you have, hold on for a second. Uh, let me even reiterate the situation. When you have the working class or the best minds of your people, because some of them were, you know, if, even if you conquer my, my kingdom and you took me and some of our people, maybe we were, maybe we were a society of people who did certain certain craft. So it's, you know, because in order to get all of our people to the to actual to the to African diaspora, our people needed to be laborers, right? So we had to have some kind of skills. It's not like we just brought nothing to a whole world. And some of the best people from Africa has been taken out is some of the skilled people. And you know, whether and you keep on using this word slave, 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 like it us beat down the word slave, slave, slave. The thing I want to tell people to do, because a lot of times we have too much people just reading books and people don't make their way to Africa. I mentioned earlier today, I went to all of these countries that the slave trade happened and did my research. But instead of me sitting around being emotional, I learned to build business international. Because at the end of the day, what you guys are going to go back and forth is this. Because I, I hear it all the time. And that's why sometimes we don't let people on the panel because everybody just want to argue, argue, argue. But everybody's arguing what they're reading and what they're analyzing, but don't have a practical experience in these countries at all. That's serious. I got a practical experience. When I was in Ethiopia, I, I was like, yo, I see why these people were not colonized. I could sense that. I could feel the, like, resistance and like the pride that they had and i don't feel that from you know the other parts of africa i don't feel that from west africans i don't feel that from basically uh sub-saharan africa like that so and sometimes you ever just see some some ignorant stuff and you can say yo i could see why dudes got enslaved because of this type of mindset i didn't really see that when i went to ethiopia so yeah when you talk about a mindset of our people our people just didn't have Get the current mindset that they have just like they got they, they got a current mindset based on the fact that their country were colonized and occupied and they were educated uh, based on what the oppressors wanted them to learn and if um if i'm oppressing you i'm also teaching you how to hate each other and fight against each other and and literally destroy each other and then i'm also encouraging the best of us the best people to leave the countries the different countries so unfortunately africa is that uh continent that um has just been feeding the world of uh, great minds of people and of resources and it's just it's just that that bad situation and that's why we with modern day time that's why people like ourselves is in Africa connecting doing the best we can do and I'm you know I encourage other people to to do something because the the moral of what we were talking about from the beginning was the woman king sisters got together they put their money together they work with whatever white woman or whoever it was and they got the job done and I'm saying to my brother brothers and sisters out there most of y'all debate and, and argue too much versus doing more of the practical things because our show is always about building black business pipeline. I don't mind talking about slavery and things like that, but whenever I talk about anything, it's just to encourage us to, to put our energy together and figure it out. And then whenever I say things like that, and then people say, oh, well, then people in Africa sold us into slavery or this and that. And then it's just always, it's always some black men weak shit. And I, 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 where we go from here because... I can't sit here and argue with us about slavery over and over and about who's right and this and that. But the fact of the matter is, you know, is the current people that run the world that we live in and the current people that that, that literally drove the ships of, you know, of how our people got here is like, these are the people that I want to talk about accountability is like people just want to say well they were fighting each other and they sold each other in slavery and they're responsible for everything it's their fault you know and and literally from there on blame our people for hundreds of years of what wicked atrocities europeans have done to us still to this day systematically racism white supremacy and whatever else elements well, you make excuses excuses to where, to, uh, for the african you, get, you gotta make excuses for the white man then no i'm not i'm not making excuses i'm saying once that happened you know and i'm not making excuses for our people but pe people People are not looking at the fact that 
like you talked about earlier, who's benefiting from the situation? So obviously, whatever deal was worked out, it didn't work out in our best favor. You know, we lost our oh, people, Africa we lost our resources, and then we have all kind of division. Africans have poor uh, management skills. That's why it, it didn't work out too well for them. But it worked out enough that they sold the slaves. It's not, it's not about poor management it. skills. You're talking about groups of people who are savage or savage beasts. You're talking about all the savage kingdoms in Europe. What? How? And how you talk about African you, kingdoms weren't savages. You, 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 were you, 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 you seem like you love white people and you like to defend no, white people. No, no, no. I'm just trying to. Well, uh, well let me ex let me explain. Like when we talk about how you uh, how our country like. Uh, whether it's uh, the whether it's uh, what, what is considered United Kingdom, how that was formed, to you know, and then you, you have a whole group of people literally they're they're on code, they're on code, and they already you know they didn't just sail ships to Africa and, and then sail back and forth. They they then after a while they realized okay, uh, we're much more wickeder people than these people, and we can take advantage of them. So that's a part of the situation. Just because I'm nice to you and you take advantage of me, don't mean I get to. Don't mean you get to blame the victim. Now our people in Africa and African continent are still the victim. What? You know what I'm saying? They got caught in a situation where whatever type of slavery is going on, as you as people call it, that was going on in Africa. <coughs> when, when Europeans and Arabs came, they brought it to a whole another level of chattel, wicked, degrading destruction of slavery. But didn't I just outline that Arabs or Muslims, when they enslave people, you can buy a sultan? So how's that wickedness? I also included the white European devils also in that equation. But you, but you and excluded, also, you, you, have to also, you have to also look at the wicked Arab devils. And you, still to this day, we have people, you know, you hear stories, you hear stories, and these are real stories. You go to the country, you ask people about their family members. They was taken off into slavery somewhere in, in the sub, sub, in the Sahara Arab Desert trying to get to Europe or some of those situations. So we know these people are still doing these things. And, you know, and if you go see what kind of Arabs they are, I'm sure some of them will look dark and everything. <laughs> but it's still the same trade being controlled by lighter or whiter skin Arabs or just like <laughs> white can, folks. How can you say I Europeans mean, and Arabs are devils, but the Africans who are doing the same thing, how come they're... They're, they're not doing... They're they're not, brother, they're, brother, they're not doing the same thing. Like I explained to you, number one, well, our people are being taken to another part of the world and being brutally worked to death. The history of Jamaica are... You know, so if you stay like where you're at and work... People like myself okay. come from survivors of Jamaica that work on the plantation and whether... and, and you know, and you know, and that is a different situation. You're being worked in a field to death, so you're you you're 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 bringing your notion of oh, it's the Come same now, sir. That. If they were worked to death, you wouldn't be here. Like I mentioned, I am the survivor of the ones who survived that situation that was put against them, and that's why people fought so hard in Jamaica, in Brazil, in countries like that. Because after a while, you're seeing people work to death. The only thing you got left now is to fight and burn down plantations. You know. And that's the resilience of us. But I'm saying you cannot put the same blame on all this situation because it's a whole different world that happened from what Africans are doing on the African continent to each other, to what European and other people joined in and literally took it to another level. And okay, the no one thing that you're doing, you're instigating real tribal warfare because now you're selling, our, you're selling one group, you're selling different groups, all the wicked things that they need to go to battle. Okay, and, so they all then, bought the same product, but they were doing it different, using the product in different ways. But they were all evil because they were all doing the same thing. And some, some, you know, some kingdoms, unfortunately, they might have to keep on doing what they're doing just to get more guns to fight another kingdom that <sighs> the other people sold guns to. And it's oh, the well, same thing. I, you, you can use Brother, that same logic with the white man. Well, it's the same thing that goes on in the Congo. You know, what I mean, um, the Congo, the black people in the Congo have never had peace. Never, I never had any peace. Uh, you know, that I've known of. Uh, since white people stepped in the Congo, now were they fighting and did they have issues with each other? I'm sure they probably did, but what we what we have right now is a Congo that's been just sucked to pieces from. But you realize the Arab, you realize the Arabs had control of the Congo uh, before any white man came, right? Yes, um, and then who kicked them out? The Belgians. Well, I mean, they were still there. Actually, they're still there today. And yeah, they're probably still there too. But who still run the Congo? The Belgians still got the Belgium. The Belgium, whatever the, the Belgians are new to the scene. Whatever the Belgian, they're new to the scene. The Belgians were there in the 1900s, right? So whatever the Belgians conquered, they built up and they still have it today. They still have their interests and their investment and things like that. So what I'm saying to you ultimately, brother, and I can't go back and forth with you, right. is Nobody that situation in Africa is completely different from what we have here because we still got this 
are people are are people still being oppressed by a system here, right? That whole situation have translate to what we're still going through still to this day. So that's how wicked and bad the situation is. To where now, you know, you have some of our people just like they completely just angry at the African countries. Oh, you sold us into slavery, or or if you cared about us, you could have came and got us. And why you guys right, haven't right. sent any ships and things like that? The right. whole situation in Africa has been literally just complicated. And even colonization complicated it. The Berlin Conference even made things more complicated. A group of white people sitting around dividing the whole con continent up like, like a piece of cake because they can, because they have military power. Can you explain why Europeans colonized Africa, but after they colonized Africa, they didn't enslave anybody? Can you explain that? After they colonized what? After they colonized Africa, how well, did well, well, the slave trade after that? Well, um, I'm going to finish this one. We have to the that you um, revolution. I the Industrial you. Revolution. Well, okay. Let me let's you say so. Well, uh, the thing of it, the thing, the thing of it is, colonization is a higher sophisticated way of slavery. Uh, remember, I tell you about my folks in Jamaica burn down plantations and setting these people houses on fire, same as we did here in the South. You know, if I colonize you, I have a better chance of you not doing all those things because I, I have a different, unique way of you know, a, a, you know, unique way of handling you. So it's, it's been like one form of oppression after another form of oppression by people who are militarily and more organized on code to do be wicked, brutal, and literally take advantage of you know, a beautiful, peaceful continent. But, you know, if they colonize, they cut out the middleman, which is the African slave catcher. So how come they didn't do that? It's just like today in America. Uh, <clears throat> The system have changed from well, slavery, Jim Crow, and so on and so on, uh, you know, integration. It's just, these are not simple-minded people. These are people who are fighting each other for a ridiculous amount of time in history before they even came towards us. They have mastered this wicked treachery, and now they have displayed it to where they're going to be innovative. They're going to take it to another level. Just like right now, they're taking it to another level, especially on most of these weak-ass Black men that we have out there, and then they're falling for it. You know, just like I mentioned, they made a movie about women, women king empowering the sisters just to just to piss off some of our brothers, and our brothers <laughs> fell for the, they they fell for it. Instead of them saying, "You know what? We're gonna put our money together. We're gonna organize. We're gonna make the moves that we need to make." They start whining and crying on YouTube. You know, they, 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 they were in the women wars and they were killing black men and and you know and they're crying and whining. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about modern day energy. You know, I I, I spend my money and my time traveling all over Africa studying and. You know, learn what I need to learn. But it don't make no sense for me to go back and forth with anyone for the next 10 years. What we need to figure out is how do we get to the point where we need to get to where we don't look like a laughing stock on this planet, which are black men. Because most right. of the people that we talk about on here are black men. But I realize that we go back and forth on too many things. But uh, right. you know, I've made one, my one of the main point as I could. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Is that we need to learn the truth of the situation instead of trying to uh romanticize even the evil deeds. No, we told you the truth. No, we're not. We're, we're telling you the truth because I'm telling you the truth based on, on on research and being there and analyzing things. Now you can say you, you you're saying the truth based on your ana analysis, and that's fine. And we well, can there's only one the analysis really that I was going by, which is the Africans were slave traders and the white man was slave traders. Okay, so you say the white so, man. You say the white man was evil doing it, and the African. Are you a white? Per, are, you, are you a white person? Why you take yeah. so much offense when I call white people devils? White people no, are. No, I'm, I'm not taking offense. I'm just saying you can't evil. go. You can't go one way when they're both doing the evil deed. No, it's just it's, it's not about one way. It's about us in Africa being peaceful in Africa with whatever we whatever the hell we're doing, and whether you call it trading each well, other. If they, were, each yeah, other. If they were slave men, how's that yeah. peaceful? That's our business, but now we have a situation. Now we have another race of people comes in and take, you know, and take us to a whole different level. You know, that's well, a big difference. They Literally, take it a big different difference. level. They they do. They were doing the same thing. They just say, "Hey, the, we level, that they no, no, to, the level that they took it to is the reason why someone like yourself and the rest of us. I mean, I don't know. We may feel limited or whatever, but we don't have any power. We're powerless. That's a level. They, they took it to a level to where modern day black men are weak and powerless. The majority of us. A weak and powerless as a group of people, not individuals. And that's what was happening in Africa when they enslaved them in Africa. Right? Slave right, is let's powerless. Move on. Let's let's move on. I'll uh, find man. I, I hear you. I hear you. This is too much power. <laughs> I understand it. It's, it's not it's not power, brother. Um it, it's it's just like everybody else we have talked on the panel. Uh this <laughs> people just like to argue and debate and we're into yeah, the sharing what we come share on, as a I'll point of view so we can like go quick because the issue that we have we're having too many 
too many black people in the Americas are just so caught into they sold us into slavery, they sold us into slavery, you know, they, they, it's glorifying slavery. And it's and it's like I'm, I get sick and tired of it. I get sick and tired, especially black men crying about slavery. You know what I'm saying? It's it's an unfortunate situation with us as men, and, and I don't feel like we weren't able to protect our women or anything. It happens, and now that it happens, we just gotta give something out because we can't keep living like this to where you know, we, we're raising young boys and then we don't, we know, we're not building the proper institute to put them in and put them in a su- position to succeed and build. We're too much in a situation where we, we hear intelligent black men talking and like, okay, they're talking, I'm going to just debate them. I'm just going to argue with them. You said, yeah? they were, you said somebody heard an intelligent uh, black men talking? Yes, that's me and Carla. We are well-educated oh, oh. people. We're professional. Um, I think my ears, I think my ears were clogged then at that point in time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know your person, but it seemed like you're a person that uh, love white people and you like to just argue with other black <laughs> yeah, yeah. people. Now, now you know what it is. When I like the truth. I like the truth. People, but the truth. When we talk about yeah, our white I'll, people, I'll, I'll, are the most wickedest, brutal people on the planet, and white people are what created this modern-day wickedness. You know what I mean? <laughs> but but see, Bomani, uh, sure, go ahead, brother. Say, he said uh, slavery never happened. He said the transatlantic. Oh, he said slavery never happened. That's yeah, another topic. I'm sticking on topic tonight. Yeah, if slavery would never happen, um, then 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 I tell people travel with me to all the places that I show them the documentation because that's what people like myself do in a modern day time. I take you to all the locations, and all these places didn't just pop up out of nowhere. And all the remnant. It's just kind of like telling people that. Uh, Egypt wasn't the one of the found Egypt and Ethiopia wasn't the foundation of birth of civilization. But then when you go to Egypt and Ethiopia, no one else can show you anything that was before that. But you know, modern day Ethiopia, you know that's a colonized country right now. You know that, right? (laughs) I I was gonna say if people don't realize I was Ethiopia colonized. uh, And and, and, uh, (laughs) brother, who's who's Ethiopia colonized by? Who's Ethiopia colonized by? Colonized by the Semitic uh, Arabs. In my line, in my line, though. Well, Colin, tell me if that's true, Colin. <laughs> no. See, he doesn't no, want to answer uh, that one. Yeah, no, I mean, brother, you give, some, give us some more details so we clear. We got to get Al Kuhn off. Let's get this other guy. I, I get you. I get you. I want to hear what Big Black has to say. You too know? Black, too strong for him. Hey, hey uh, Al Kuhn. Al Kuhn, you know you don't cut your nose off to spite your face, don't you? <laughs> Go Big Black, talk to him. Go out, Quan, uh, communicate. You, you, you asked the question, you know, is, is, is putting pretty much African brothers on the continent on the same uh, plateau as systematic slavery. Um, it is. Let me ask you something. As far as family members go, do you have, have you ever had crackheads in your family? Uh, none that I can uh, think of. <laughs> okay. Do, do, did you have family members that you that did you wrong? Maybe did you dirty? Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> okay, would you cut them more slack than um, a stranger off the street? No, because they took more. <laughs> oh, so, okay. So, 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 in your family, once you're, I guess, once you do something wrong against the other family member, you just cut off from the family for good. Hey. Got to do something to either pay up or uh, stay back. Well, well, in, in most family structures, you know, <sighs> family members usually give each other, you know, the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, you know, cut them a little slack, you know, because it's for the most part, it's a wise decision to keep the family together and keep it functioning. Because as family members, we uh, we grow old, and as we grow older. <laughs> You know, we get wise and we understand we need to, as as you get older and get wiser, you need family members to protect you. All right. So beyond the black family, what's the your, uh, central unit family? What's the next, what's the next level beyond that? Your extended family, right? Right. Okay. But what's the next level beyond that? Uh, your distant family. But most distant of the people, family. but most of the, the, the key thing is those family members know each other and are related by blood. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, so your next family it goes into race. Now, you, you well, that depends yeah. on uh, who's looking at it in that uh, direction. Well, well, majority of the world. Let's say that. Uh, majority yeah, of the world. I would go deeper and say define what race you're talking about and all that kind of stuff. But well, 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 well. Well, the majority, uh, majority of black people around the world understand that we are related. 
See, that's that, I, that's, I think that's, that's a common that's, that's a common that's, that's a common that's a common thought. Actually, in I think black you, society. I, 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 I can't rock with you on that because that's what you want to believe. No, no, it is. It is. Yeah, that's it what is. you want to believe. I mean, that's most of the people is. I came in contact with, uh, Alquan. Okay, see, that's who you came in contact with. I'm sure it wasn't billions of people that you came in contact um, with. I mean, uh, most people, I, I know you're an Indian, um, you're pretending, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, I mean, you don't know any. Well, I, I can actually languages. prove my case, but I, I don't want to get into that. I want to keep it on topic because. But I'm saying, like, well, we'll just say most people believe that, you know, you know, we all come, but most black people believe that we all come from Africa. But say that's different that. from being the same. But I'm saying most black people believe that we come from Africa. Am well, I right yeah, or am I wrong? Uh, uh, most black people where? Most black people in America. Well, I say most black people have been in America have been taught that. Taught I would to believe say most them. black people. Uh, I would say most black people in Amer in the Americas believe that we come from Africa. And most black people in the Americas have been taught that, but. We can't well, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 I'm, I'm not going to the proof, but it's way more proof than why would you want to be an Indian? Oh, it's, oh, that's why that's our quant position. He's an Indian, he's, he's one of his, I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he's one of Dane Callaway. Callaway. I mean, no, 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 Dane Callaway boys. No, Dane Callaway. Do you understand that Indians in a, uh, in a worse position than black people? Don't you understand that? You said what? Indians are in the worst position than black people. Go but see, you gotta understand when we say you, Indian, you know, or, you know they don't, they can't defend themselves, right? You, you, well, I'm saying when you know when we talk Indian stuff, we know, you know, we're not talking about some other kind of people. We're talking about black people. So uh, you wanna, you wanna be an no, Indian well, black I, person that's not actually Indian. Okay, but you wanna be an African person that you can't prove your lineage. Yeah, state. I can, I can, I can prove that. I okay, mean, then prove it to us right now. DNA, I mean, DNA, DNA. That's not proof. That's I mean, there's an African continuity. If you look pretty much how we, you know, a lot of things that we have in common, such as music, music no, that's not true. Dance, food. that's not Dance. true. Rhythm. That's not true. All the same. Where's where's the uh, African album? Where's the uh, where's right. the African Luther Bandross at? You know, even huh? even even. <laughs> Even when we break down you never heard how we use words, right? There's books talking about how a lot of our words when our slang it ends with the A, you know. On, and there's man. a lot of African words that, you know, kind of end with A, you know, that that kind of that slang too. So there's you know, a, is there a whole lot of Italian words that end with A too. But I'm saying not not like our slang. We we always <laughs> we we always have to, you know, use the slang. Our slang is, you know. Their slang doesn't end with a what? Yeah, like what's the what slang word that they use that ends with a? Uh, uh, that's the only thing you think of. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> okay, but that's it. Now, Africans, what what languages are you talking about? Because that's see, that's a different. When we start getting into this African identity stuff, we, we start conflating languages, cultures, yeah. people, and most of them. When it comes down to it, we don't know who these people are. Do you know what an epicenter is? We are the ones trying to do, redefine or define what an African is. Do you and know what epicenter? Do you, do you know what <laughs> epicenter is? Yes. Okay. When you we take it, you know, not denigrate us to roaches, but like let's say roaches, right? <laughs> When you when you're trying to take out a colony of roaches, what are you looking for? So here she's looking for the uh, the home base. Right, right, and usually that's where most of the roaches are located, right? Yeah, and, and they can also be spread out. So ask me this: Why why are most black people located in Africa? Uh, how many people in Africa? Um, what about one billion, plus, about, billion, about one billion plus? Oh, okay, and I'm about to answer you, but India, okay. I, 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 but India has about 1.5 billion people, and then right. there are a whole bunch of other black Asian nations all, all there, mm -hmm. and that, that's about two billion people at least. So, well, most black people, about, well, so most black about, people are not most black people are not in Africa, the continent, the continent with the most concentrated. Group of black people, right? Yeah, like, like I said, I just made the case for Asia. Well, we talk about Asians, though. 
There, there's no more. We talk about black people. There's yeah, not that's, more that's, black that's people. Black. In, that's black. You there's not no Asia. So there's no black people in Asia than in Africa. There ain't no black people in Asia. That's what you're trying to No, do. there's not more. There isn't more black people I, in I, Asia. I, than okay, Africa. when we point out the countries, we talk about. But, but tell us the most concentrated country of Africans then, or black people. Talk to us, brother. Since you're here to educate all of us, we're here listening. Oh, okay. Uh, there's India. There's Arabia. Uh, all those Southeast Asian countries. India. There's more black people black, in though. those countries. Yes, they are uh, they uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, do those people call themselves black? That's another no, thing. Do, no, some of them, some of them, African. Some of them do. Don't, it's bro. just like it's just like uh, even people in Africa. Some of them don't call themselves. A lot black. of Indians are racist towards black, bro. What do you mean? How can they, they be they racist if they're black? They don't consider themselves black at all, bro. Right. <laughs> like, but there are people in Africa that, who don't consider themselves black. That's most of them. Who? Oh, you most said of, most of them. Yeah. Now, most people That's around right. in Africa identify themselves as black. No, no they don't. No, and they've, they taken don't. On, they've taken on a concept of what their ancestors, which was, you know, which led us to independence. Uh, so they've taken on a pan-African mindset. Is it that? Is that? Is it the way it is today? Probably not. But it, it was a it, it was a foundation that, that got us independence, and we can still use that same vehicle to get us nationhood. And then That's you're probably trying about. to you're probably trying to add the the straight-haired uh, Indian, dark-skinned Indian. With the uh, with a with a black person, and they share no because... DNA with us. Actually, yeah. the Indian no, 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 used to be connected to Africa. The Indian, the Indians, and, and, and oh. what about the only Indians are the ones that were brought to uh, to uh, that were brought their slaves. So it's Indians always got to be slavery, slave trade too, on the east coast of Africa. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. That's <laughs> no, they weren't. Allowed. No, they, they weren't. African villages well, in India, and whatnot. They were well, direct well, slaves. Well, They'll tell you, I'm from Africa. It's in Pakistan. Yeah. That, that used to be a part of India. India, Pakistan, used to India. Be a part of India. India. India is people in India that have uh, they're Africans, right? And there's Indians that are Indians that are actually darker than the Africans, but the Africans are Africans and the Indians are actual Indians. And the Indians so look down on those, Af those, those, those African descendants. They look down on them. They treat them. Well, that you know, can't hard. be the case. They be darker actually, than the Africans. And I've actually run into people. some East Indian. I assume yeah. they were from India with the look and everything, and they have frizzy <laughs> hair, but they yeah, still look like Indians. The ones with frizzy hair claim claim Africa. Well, the, I'm saying they still look like Indians. So, uh, bro, so brother, yeah, are you, saying, Africa, that, Africa, are Africa, you Africa. saying that based on all the black people in uh, Asia, if we add them up, that they consider themselves black, it'll be more than African that, continent. See, so you're throwing extra words in there. No, no, I'm trying. I'm trying. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying you said. It. I'm just asking if this is what you're saying. If not, no, but you're saying if, if they consider themselves black. I didn't. I didn't say nothing about. <laughs> well, he, he's he asking though. He's asking who? Who? What's What's a bigger black population? I think the he black said population, Asia the, black the black population in Asia. Africa or the black population in India. Uh, I, th I think he meant I, I, Asia. We're talking about well, continents. Asia, talking about yeah. Asia. Well, the black population in Asia. Right, what's, right. The, what's the biggest black population uh, in Asia? Asia. Asia, no, Indian, I would say the Indian population. Nigeria has 200 million people. I doubt anybody. I don't think uh, India million, has I don't think, uh, about I don't think there's 250 million uh, Indians that consider themselves black. Is it 200? See, 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 you keep adding words to it. That have to that have to be something. I mean, it can't just be this. I'm, I'm saying you, 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 add, you add words that I didn't use. You said right, so. So you what, what, is, what, is, what is what is the classification of the people that you talk about in Asia? Are it, it, or is it based on your definition of, well, th well, of black? Listen, you're saying you're saying the qualifiers are people who consider themselves to be black. You got people in Africa who don't consider themselves to be black. You got people in the Caribbean who don't consider themselves to be black. You're in Jamaican. You got East Indian Jamaican, and you look like you. Okay, let's Minnesota. say this. Let's say this. Uh, the people with tight cold hair, the the. Uh, Africoid features, you most find them in Africa. I don't know what Africoid features are. I don't know what that is. Well, what was tightly coiled, coiled hair? Like bent okay, a lot of you, hair. you find that in Asia, too. Yeah, but it's mo they're mostly concentrated in Africa. Am I correct? Or, or you could say that it's a whole lot concentrated in the, in the Americas, too. No, but I'm saying, what continent are they mostly concentrated, concentrated in? Yeah, straight here. You... you Africa. You don't want to you don't, you don't want to concede to that fact. Africa and Asia. No, it's they're mostly in Africa. You're trying to put Africa at the forefront. I'm just trying to tell you the no, reality. no, no. I'm just saying, just we're just dealing with facts. The people no, in the facts Africa. are Asia. That's why I keep mentioning Asia because you know, people don't like well, talking well, about. Well, it. Well, more black people. I think he's just saying there's more black people in Asia than there are in Africa. Is that what you're saying? You could say that, yeah. 
Uh, thank you. That, you know, we want to do to adjust the analysis or something. Okay, so um, someone is, I guess, someone that needs to send us some documentation to compare the black population in Asia and Africa. You know, we'll see. Uh, so, well, I'm just saying on the record that's false because the when they when we talk when they uh, when you read upon it and the next biggest population is South America. <coughs> so, I mean. You know, no, no offense, but you're going by the, the old school master, so called master teachers, uh, uh, BS. You got to go, you got to go by his modern day definition because you know, remember, remember, um, yeah, I'll call yeah, yeah. to, to educate us because he, you know, he knows it all. So, we you know, we well, 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 thank you, thank you, brother. I appreciate that compliment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because, because we're telling you things based on our research and analysis and things like that. Um, so I guess we all have different research and analysis, right? My, uh, mine yeah. is based on reality, yours is based on uh, uh black master research. teachers. <laughs> no, not really black master teachers. No, I, I mean, I've been to many countries in Asia. I mean, I'm a person um, that, you know, I have, I have passport stamp with this countries after countries from my military days all the way to oh, okay. civilian operation. But uh, it's interesting. I would love to see those numbers. I mean, honestly, I'm not here to like, debate with you about that. But I got a question for yeah. Alcon. One more question for Alcon. Sure, go ahead. Uh, yeah, one, let's say we all decide to be Indian. What, what would be the next steps? <laughs> what, I mean, it would be, first of all, you don't decide. That's number one. You are or you are not. <laughs> if African Americans, we say, okay, we 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 figure out everybody's saying, okay, we're Indian. What will be the next steps of uh, gaining power? See, now you're, you're taking it to a different level now. No, because all these things are relative, brother. It can't just be you just say things and then that's it. Remember, we're talking about pan-Africanism towards nation building. We're talking about some kind of build. And, well, the but, first uh, thing me- you do is get, get rid of that faulty... Uh, title of African American because that's an all all, all, all that's gone in America as far as black people. Then what's the next steps, brother? Yeah, you have, you have some direction. The next, step, the next step is you take your identity right. and then you roll with it from there and make the world recognize who you are. And let me ask you this: Okay, but how do we gain power? Though you missed uh, 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 skipped my question. Uh, though uh, uh, I'm uh, saying, uh, how do we gain power? Okay, but you're this you is all about gaining power, uh, right? Not okay, just uh, okay, but listen, listen. You as a pan Africanist, you have not gained power through that. So how are you gonna tell me ask me how to gain power? We did have the independence movement. We did have the independence movement. Yeah, uh, did, we, did we handle it the way, we, we, handle the way we should have handled it? Probably not, but you know, it, it led us to something. Pan Africanism did something. It's not like it didn't do anything, it got us to the point where you know what did it do? Got us independent, independent nations. Like what? Like not all the not like all Africa. Africa. Let, let, let's go back to when they had independence. Now, unfortunate a situation is when you've been colonized so long and you have industries, you know, and your people are not trained for those industries. Unfortunately, you may have to go back and make deals with the colonizers. I think those are some of the things that happen. And then, but you said, but you said become, Pan-Africanism uh, got independence for these. Yes, it did. And the reason why Pan-African got independence because we had groups of black people from all over the world, literally working together from the, you know, from the late 1800s to, you know, to all the way to the mid 1950s and 60s. And that whole movement and energy organized our people to get independence. Just like the same thing happened to the Asians. The Asians put their resources together, got their independence, but they were more organized. So they was able to build up their nations better. And that's why you have an incredible Asian content where you just got progressive nations all over the place. And then you still got neo-colonialism going on in Africa. I don't know if it's going on in, in the Asian countries. So but what, what, we, ne- what, we never really what, had the foot off our neck, but at least it got us in the direction where we could have a fighting chance. And now we're here now to where black people are moving around and we have a chance to build business around the world. But so much people consider themselves these different things instead of having some level of connection to Africa to where we can empower Africa. Because it's up to us, especially those in the diaspora. You know, we're the stolen Africans that have to take charge of returning home and build well, relationships see, see, with people. That right there, I take issue right there with what sure. you just said. Well, if you're not if you're not a stolen African, that's understandable. You, you said, not every black person. Oh, hold up, you said stolen. We just got through. We're stolen uh, from our continent. Oh, hold up. We just, we just you got through. Say stolen to slavery, you can say that no, also. No, no, we just got through. My word is stolen because we we're just, taken. I hear you, but see, we were transported, not taken. No, well. <clears throat> Europeans put our people on a ship and took them on those ships. And the Africans helped them do it. Yeah. Africans made they made whatever deals they made, but Europeans put right. our people on those ships and so brought us. So you can't say, so you can't say from, stolen. It's not stolen. They were bought fair and square. 
No, they weren't bought fair and square. These weren't fair deals. I thought it was a slave trade. You know, these weren't. <laughs> it's kind. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like me saying that um someone like Puff Daddy is is a, is a great person because he he made success from all of his 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 people that he did business with. No, nah, none of those people are successful. He literally exploited them. You know, oh, that's, what slavery, that's what slavery is, right? Mm-hmm. Exploitation. <laughs> So well, it's, exploitation. Way it's exploitation. So I'm saying the artists that the you know that that the, these 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 so-called music executives take advantage of. So are you blaming the victims of them? Are you blaming them? Oh, you didn't learn. You didn't need. To, you didn't learn to read a contract. You didn't get the right law. You didn't do this. It's like oh, that's what the executive is. That's the it's always this brain. Of, oh, you sold us. You you sold your own people. So you should you know. So you shouldn't be mad at what we're gonna do to them and and traumatize them and rip them apart. And literally just put them in the worst condition they have been in, and then you literally just hold them in our country and treat them in the most inhumane way. So just blame the victim. So that's what you seem like you've been doing the whole time. Blame the victim. Well, let me ask you this. Let me and ask loving you this. your colonizer and loving, you know. Well, well let me ask people. you this, Bomani. Would you rather be in a Turkish prison, in a United Kingdom prison, or in a U.S. prison? I wouldn't like being in no damn prison. Okay, that's my whole point. If you're a slave, you're a slave. Doesn't matter who. The master is. Yes, it does matter. Like I mentioned to you, and this is what we may have to disagree, agree to disagree. Like I keep on mentioning to you, you're, you're pushing more things on blaming the victims and things. If you're in Africa and you're used to selling your prisoners to other nations, you get used to that. And then when another nation of people come around and they change it to a whole different dynamics, you just literally just think it's the same thing. And that's the problem with people like yourself. You guys are looking at everything as just as as all the same. The, Nothing that white people do is the same as what other people do. These people have literally have hundreds of years of being the wickedest people, literally destroying their own people to where now when they get to you now, they got they on code and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get the best deal. Every, and it's the same situation where you know you have a more sophisticated so-called sophisticated group of people, they sit down at the table with you to make deals, and next thing you know, they're not sitting there making fair deals, they're lit- they're literally there taking advantage of you, maybe because you're not as as wicked as them in their mindset, you know? but they had to have been as wicked since they were uh, slave and enslaving people. Yo, uh, uh, on, you said, over... said the same thing twenty times. That's yeah, but I, I guess I'm you guys. Brother, are... I, I, brother, brother, I appreciate you getting on, and we're gonna have to let you go so we can move on. I, I know this. Yeah, it's not you. hard for us to do anything. Uh, like I said, between yeah. him and the other other people have come on. They've contributed nothing to the conversation. Everything is Only about argument of facts and try. argument of documentation. But I realize that what the type of person he is now. He's one of them people who love white people, and he's one of those people that so you know that has his issues with, with Africa because they're letting people. It is just like that woman can move it. People are letting people just beating their head. Everything is slavery, slavery, and it, it's it's glorifying slavery. And it's like, like family. Unfortunately, this is a part of what happened to our people, and. It's like whenever people like myself have certain conversations, a lot of times we have to put these things in place as far as having a conversation, explain to people about the history of slavery. And it's never been an easy conversation because like people like, well, they, they, they sold you guys into slavery and they, they were rude, wicked, they're brutal. And then the people now people say, oh, the people in the homie, they was just, it's like some there's things that goes on that some of us literally don't understand. Like I said, I've been to the kingdom of the homie. I've been to certain places. And it takes a lot. You have to really humble yourself and be open to learning. If you're going to come with this Indian stuff and, oh, my people in Africa are this and that, you know, we're never going to progress anything. Blame the people who orchestrated this whole mess, which was the white European devils and Arabs. You know, our people in Africa, whether the kingdoms that stole each other to slavery or whatever, victims, 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 victims. I'm not trying to pass along victim, but that is the nature of the situation, you know? And, um, and, and it's just like, in the situation we, you know, where we're, we're there in the hood. We're there in the hood. It's all of us black people. You know what I'm saying? Where all of these guns and drugs and everything come from? Tell me, Kala, where all these things come from? That's coming from the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? saying? That. It's like, who have the boats, the planes, the, the, the movement, the logistics, the operation to like literally orchestrate this stuff? So you're, you're blaming like, it's kind of like blaming a small time a drug dealer for doing, for doing all the drug sales on the block. Okay, yes, he's a... He's a you know, maybe he's a you know he's a bad person, but it's like okay, so you're gonna let off the hook. All of the people who orchestrated the movements of of drugs and people who uh, and Vermont, black let, let, me, things. let me say this, let me say something, brother. I said this on my radio show last night. Uh, last night. Uh, I gotta put that you don't like this, man. It was called right. the topic of the show was called uh, Deadly Cl- uh, Ringmaster in the Circus of Deadly Clowns Part Two. You know, 
And so in other words, basically, we have deadly clowns, but who's the ringmaster, you know? I said like this. I always say, I ask the question, and I'll put this to the panel, right? You have all these rappers killing each other and everything over beats and everything, right. but they're still getting financed by somebody. They're still getting promoted by somebody. There's white people behind the scene making... Uh, uh, creating the images of these people, right? The thugs and everything, putting them out on streaming, so like the, all this violent stuff, criminal stuff, right? And getting paid for it. And so what, what I'm saying is this, why is it that when they go, like in Dallas the other day, a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, they went and shut down a recording studio, say it was drugs, money laundering, everything like that. But you never see the white people who's up on top distributing this stuff get touched, you know? And so like that. So the bottom line, the white man is a hidden hand of mass confusion. He sits behind all the stuff, the drugs, the guns, everything. And we just look at the end, the end of the people on the bottom doing all the dirt. We're going to get them too. But what I'm saying is this though. Yeah, they're just as culpable because you sold out. I sold us out and everything. And I'm not making excuses for criminals and everything in our community. But I'm saying this. Why is it that the white people who basically sit back and uh, why the Jimmy Iveens and all these other people sit back and collect their melty millions of dollars and everything and they don't, they're shielded from any liability that their, their artists do and stuff like this. If you were signed to a record label, a big record label, right, and your artist goes out there and causes a panic, like Travis Scott, oh, how many people died in this concert, right? And they had an after party afterwards. How come no, no heads are rolling from the top, you know, talking about, yo, what, what, you know, fire and people died and everything? Because why? Because there's white people up there uh, uh, controlling everything. And same thing with slavery times, everything. We look at the slave, oh, yeah, but there's white men who are financing this. People don't understand. This. Let me tell you something. Let me break this down to you. Break this down right now to everybody on the panel, everybody listening, right? Wall Street banks, right, finance the slave trade. They finance the ships. They finance the chains that were built in the industrial age. The chains, they finance the guns. They finance the rum and everything. And they had to get a return on their investment. The investment was a boatload of, of Africans and captured enslaved Africans, right? A, a boat of 600 Africans were, 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 is more than enough to pay off the bond, the, uh, the surety bond that was, uh, that was the capital raised for the finance venture. So when it's, the Europeans went to those ports, they had to come back with something, you know? So they did everything they can to make sure those ships came back packed. And not only that, the ships had, ins- the slaves on the ships had insurance on them. So when if you lose a slave, he gets sick, you throw him on board, you got uh, you got a death benefit. So it was an old intricate system that wasn't orchestrated by Africans. It was offered by European capitalist system, you know. So let's not stop doing the Pan African shuffle, you know, and playing games with people, you know. The Pan African, you're muted, you're muted, brother. Yes. You know? that's what we're talking about tonight. That what brother doing? Brother was doing it that. The- well, Africa. since he's not a Pan African, he's doing um, the Native American shuffle. He's doing the, the Native Indian. American shuffle. <laughs> the Native American shuffle. He's doing talk about that. Let, let's send our the brother King uh, Millsy in. Let's, let's send our brother King uh, Millsy in. Greetings, uh, family. Welcome to the call. Uh, let us know what you want to like to share with us or connect with us, and hopefully, uh, you're clear on the topic. Uh, King uh, Millsy, you can unmute yourself. <laughs> 